And that's what it's like to be a surgeon. Thanks for coming to my talk today. Happy to take any questions you like at the end. Aww. Thanks, Dr. McBurney. We really enjoyed your talk. Can we ask you a few questions? Sure thing. Go for it. How do you even get to be a doctor? Is it really hard? Well, it takes a pretty long time. Are you sure you want to know? Yes, yeah, man. please. Okay then, let's take a trip down memory lane. Look at this photograph Every time I do it makes me laugh How oh, did our eyes get so red? Uh, Dr. McBurney? Oh, uh, right. Let's start with how you get into med school. In some countries, you can enter right out of high school. But in North America, you normally have to do a degree first and then apply. Usually, you need really good grades to be considered, so you have to study hard. That's what I did. I have a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Whatever. That's great, but you should also do extra stuff outside school that shows you have potential, like volunteering maybe, or working in the community. Is it hard to get into med school? Well, for about every 10 students who apply, only one gets in. I felt really lucky when they let me in. Mick Bernie, let's with you! <laughs> wow, that's harsh, man. Well, you can always try again the year after. So, if you do get in, what's med school actually like? Well, most schools in North America take four years, but there are others elsewhere that can take five or even six. Once you get in, you've usually got a lot of work ahead of you. Traditionally, this is broken up into preclinical and clinical education. Preclin and clin. Gotcha. Most of preclinical education is delivered in the classroom. You'll be learning about the structure and function of the body and understanding the various systems and diseases. And there are a lot of exams. After that, you come out of the classroom and into clinical education. At this stage, students are working in the hospital and the clinic. Students at this point are called clerks or interns, and the courses are called clerkships, like surgery or medicine. At the end of this period, you write your med school exams and your licensing exams, and if you pass, you become a real live doctor. Sweet! Yeah. So, uh, we're done, right? That's it? Nope. You're really only getting started. Although you can now call yourself doctor, you're not allowed to practice on your own until you've completed postgraduate or residency training. At this stage, you have to pick the type of doctor you want to be, then apply to that specialty in the residency match and hope that they pick you. I still remember the day that I matched the surgery. I was so proud. Hmm. Psychiatry, perhaps. General surgery, general surgery. No. Public health, then. General surgery. Or... Dermatology. General surgery, general surgery, general surgery, well, general then, surgery. I suppose it will have to be general surgery. Wow, that was intense. Yep, it was a pretty big day, but that was really only the start for me. In North America, this next bit is called residency, and it could vary between two years and six years, depending on the speciality. You enter your discipline, learn its foundations and core, and then you get ready for practice. In a typical five-year program, you'll start out as a junior resident, or PGY1, and then become a senior, PGY2, up to four, and finish up as a chief resident, PGY5, running a whole team of residents. You'll be supervised and will rotate between a number of hospitals, clinics, and specialities, learning from a wide range of doctors in practice. At the end of this period, You'll take your exams with the Royal College, and then you'll be a fully-fledged doctor, ready to practice on your own. So now we're done, right? Well, not necessarily. A lot of residents end up doing even more advanced training in a fellowship for one or two years, learning special techniques that they'll need when they're in practice. And if you want a job in a big city, you may also take a few years out to do an advanced degree, like a master's or a PhD. Look at me, I did a PhD and a fellowship, so it took me years to get finished. Whoa, you must be like super smart. No, not really. There was just a lot of stuff I had to learn. Even after you enter into practice, you're still learning. At this stage, you'll be called an attending, a consultant, faculty maybe, or just staff. Remember, most of us will be in practice for 30 years or more. 
So we have to keep up to date and be a real lifelong learner. Many of the operations that I do today weren't even invented when I got out of med school. So I've had to learn them as I went along. And when you're in independent practice, it's also important to keep an eye on your results to make sure you keep on doing the best for your patients. So really, a doctor's work is never done. When you're in practice, you'd also be doing research and teaching students and residents, getting the next generation ready so that they can do the job after we retire. Wait a second, was that me? I had grey hair. Is that what I'm going to look like? Hey man, this is your dream sequence. I thought you looked nice with grey hair. Very distinguished. That's just weird. Anyway, it's true I can't keep doing this job forever, which is why we need young folks like you to become doctors too. Wait a minute. If you add it all up, four years in pre-med, then four years med school, then five years residency, and then maybe a fellowship or another degree, that's, um... That's like 15 years. Yep. It's been a pretty long journey. That sounds like a lot of work. If you could go back, would you do it all over again? You know... I can't imagine doing anything else with my life. I'm still really glad that I chose this road. It's been such a privilege being a doctor, and I've had so much fun. I've met so many different people and done so many different things, and I've learned so much, way more than I ever expected when I got into med school. I think I've helped a lot of people. Maybe I've even made the world a bit better. So yep, I'd do it all over again. That actually sounds really cool. I think I'm going to try and be a doctor. Me too. Yeah, I'll think about it. Well, good luck to you all. Now you better catch up with the rest of your class or you're going to miss something. Thanks, Dr. McBurney. Bye. 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 Bye, Miss <sighs> Young folks today. Okay, back to work.